No time soon. Where are you sorry, uh, you sorry husband at? <laughs> that is so cool. All right. Claude and Co. Episode nine, surprise wedding, take one. So, we had a surprise wedding, and um, I think it was, how many years ago? It was when we got married. That is a safe answer, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> it was when we got married. Um, it was like 10, 11 years ago. And yeah. we say 10, 11 because there is a discrepancy. I, I bet people are wondering what a surprise wedding is. Yes. So... Our, our version of a surprise wedding was um, only a handful of people, literally four people in the world mm -hmm. knew that we were going to get married. Um, <laughs> I love how you say four people in the world. Yeah. We planned the wedding, the four of us, mm -hmm. um, you know, together. And, and it wasn't a, until maybe a week before the actual ceremony did we let a few more members of the core unit. Yeah, like our immediate family. Your mom, your sister. Yeah. Um, know about the, the surprise wedding. Yeah. Yeah. So that was, we do things very differently. And Guys, we do things differently from homeschooling mm -hmm. to co-sleeping. Um, yeah, so hopefully at this point it comes at no surprise that we do something uh, like a surprise wedding. Um, and the reason, why, why, why would you say we we went down that path. So I was, how old was I? I was like 30, 31. And by that time, some of my, I've experienced some weddings uh, and the- um, And the planning process with your friends getting married, oh my, my gosh, friends getting married. Guys, it was so sad to see my friends in tears. Like it became about other people instead of them. Yeah. And that was people really having sad. Very, yeah. Sorry, yeah, people having very, strong opinions about what your re wedding ceremony should, should be, be like mm -hmm. you know yeah. who's gonna be in the bridal party who's gonna be a groomsman well who's gonna be the best man who's, who's gonna, gonna be, be invited from my mom's side of the family from my dad's side of the family i mean what's the decor are you really gonna use those flowers oh my god oh, can i see the dress even you talking about it brings, brings like anxiety. anxiety yeah and because i'm such an empath i had such a hard time even when we just started talking about it, I was like, oh my gosh, like yeah. I'm not gonna have any family from Ecuador coming in. I'm not gonna have any family from Puerto Rico coming in. Like, and we wanted to keep it small, which is very cool because I'm seeing that a lot, a lot of people are keeping things very small and intimate. But even with that, I was seeing so many of my girlfriends go through so much and it was sad and I did not want to have any part of that. Um, so much so that I did like everything, we did everything on our own. Yeah, I mean, it, and and there there's there are costs and there's benefits, right? So you you know you had to go to your dress fittings, you know, by yourself, right? So yeah. one of the big exactly. So one of the big things that um, a, a girl does, a, a woman does with her mom and her girlfriends, um, they go out and they pick a dress. And I remember watching like what was that um, show called? Say yes to the dress, um, guys the amount of opinions. This is such a special day and it should really be about what you want, how you feel, um, what you feel beautiful in. And that will differ with other people's, you know, input. And you don't want people in your head. Yes, it's nice to have like someone say, yeah, this looks nice or whatever. But to the point where girls are now, women are now, um, totally doing something different than what they originally wanted, that was concerning for me. Yeah, but can I can I just ask, yeah. I mean, I, I'm sure that there was a part of you though that regretted or lamented the fact that you couldn't have your mom there while you were getting your dress 
fit Funny in enough, so. no. My mom and I, mm-hmm. we have such a great connection that, and you know, it was so beautiful. When she found all of this out, there was never an ounce of like, I didn't go with you to your dress. Fit. Like it was none of that. And I thank God she was so wonderful. And I didn't think that she was going to react like with a, with a bat, you know, with, but I just wanted it to be me, a hundred percent me. Yeah things that I wanted, things, and I didn't want anybody infiltrating or saying, you know, maybe this, because I can, you know, I'm a Libra, guys. I'm a Libra and I can be a little indecisive, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I just wanted what I wanted and I wanted it to stay pure to that, you know? Absolutely. So um, I think I just needed to do it by myself. And it was, I actually look back at that time with no regrets, like at all, no regrets. It was me by myself doing it on my own, on my terms. And that made me feel really good that's great no regrets and no horror stories um that we completely avoided by just keeping this circle of input very very small very small yeah there is a funny um quote from my best friend's wedding it's one of adrian and i um one of our favorite movies with the lovely julia roberts and it says there's something about weddings that brings Matt, like crazy jealousies or like just brings out the crazies in everybody. Mm-hmm. And it's so true. Yeah. People, where am I sitting? Where am I sitting? Who am I sitting with? Am I in the bridal party? Not only, it's almost like um, a competition. It brings up about this competition. Yeah, like, like how important, important am, am I, I to Claudette? Yes, or to yeah. Jared. Yeah, um, and that's why we didn't even have groomsmen or, or bridesmaids. We did I had not my, have. My, yeah, right. I had my best friend, Slim as my best man, because I would never choose amongst my brothers. That's right. And you had your sister as your maid of honor. Yep. And we all we had were flower children. So this was kind of cool and I love that. We decided to take all of the kids from our family, my uh, goddaughters as well, and we just had all the kids and we purchased all of their um, their outfits, their bridesmaid dresses, the little suits that the kids wore. The, nobody knew anything. We just kind of, I remember there was like a kid that I was like, do you think he's a six or, we just purchased. They got dressed day got, up. Day we had up. extra clothing too. Just in case, mm-hmm. we kept it really simple, but it came out so beautifully. And um, yeah, yeah. so that was, it was very, very special. So how did you get people to show up to your surprise wedding? So this was the tricky part about a surprise wedding. How do you get people there? Like how- How do you get people there on time? How do you get people there to look nice? (laughs) How do you get them to be um, in that mindset of like celebration, right? That's right. And how do you even get people to like, I'll definitely be there? Like- Definitely, you can't miss this. Exactly. Right, and so, so what we did is we sent out invitations Mm -hmm. to everyone we wanted to invite to the wedding. Um, from me yeah. that basically said that I would be popping the question to Claude, yeah. a surprise, and it would be happening at precisely, I think we said 3 p.m. Yeah. So you had to be on time mm-hmm. and it, you know, it was non-negotiable. And you know, the instruction said to dress chic, we'll yeah. be <laughs> celebrating. And if you yeah. have any questions about what you should wear, you should err on the side of more chic. Mm-hmm. So Jared would be popping the question and we'd be celebrating, right? Yeah. So that's how we got people there. <laughs> but there was another surprise embedded in all of that. What was that? I can't remember. It was a proposal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So yeah. Um, leading up to the wedding, I, I... I did not want a diamond. Guys, we'd been together for so long. Mm -hmm. And I remember you were like, I want to get you a ring. I want to get you a ring. And I was like, no, I just, no. Like, I did not want it. Yeah. I love my ring now. But go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't, didn't, A, I didn't want to rob you of, most, more important than the ring, honestly, was robbing you of the tradition of me getting on one knee and proposing to you. Yeah. So, and I swore that that I was like, it's fine. Like, let's just. Yeah. Do we things. knew we were getting married. Yeah. And, yeah. I Thank get you. it. No. So no. you planned your wedding before you even ha- were engaged. Yeah. Correct. So, so, which even set up the surprise even better yeah. for her. And I walk into this beautiful New York, like a beautiful hotel in New York, like a staple. I forgot what it was called. It's because so, the Empire Hotel. Empire Hotel. I walk in, and. I see Jared there with flowers 
and not like regular like this huge bouquet of flowers and he gives me a smile and I'm like oh my gosh what is happening and he takes my hand and he's like I just want to spend the day with you and I'm like <gasps> Half of me is like, <laughs> I have so many things to do and half of me is like, this is so romantic. Mm -hmm. If you don't know Claude, Claude is the type of person that when she gets a gift, she will take a half an hour to open it up while savoring it. the anticipation. She's like, oh my God, what is this? What? Oh wait, you didn't have to do this. Oh. And it's like, it'll, it's like, I open it. I not sound like that. No. <laughs> Whatever, a but you know bit. what I mean. Yeah. So, uh, so <laughs> I wanted that. I wanted that day to be just like that, okay. because Claude relishes in the anticipation. So I didn't want to propose right away. We had discussed that so many times um, the week or even the month leading to a, a wedding, you have like these bridezillas that you kind of like lose focus and the, the, the groom and the bride are fighting and it's just like, you know, a lot of tension leading up to that moment. So I thought he was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna spend the day with you. I'm gonna kind of take you away from all the things that you're worried about. So that is what I thought seeing you. But Got I it. did, was, I was wondering. I was you like, was he a ring for me? Mm -hmm. But yeah. So the first thing we did, mm -hmm. and then the other theme of that day was, we, we wanted to do, I wanted to do a bunch of firsts. So as New Yorkers, there were a lot of things that we had always talked about doing that's very New York centric. Yeah. But we just never got around to doing. Yeah. And I wanted to do that that day. So the first thing we did, was walk down to Central Park yeah. and did a horse and carriage ride, mm -hmm. right? Which now I wouldn't do that, but yes, I did. But we did it. We, we, <laughs> we, we did it. We don't, and it was really about beautiful. It. it was really beautiful. It was a beautiful day and a very romantic thing to do. Yeah. Thank you. After the horse and carriage ride, Jerd um, took me to Serendipities. It was a special place for me, Serendipity, because it was the first time Claude had spoken to me and she gave me a kiss, and I, that's when I felt like there might be a chance. Um, so that's why it was important f for me to bring you to Serendipity, okay. because that was the first. The first was, this is the first time you ever spoke to me. Yeah. So yeah. That's very sweet. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you remember that, even in greater detail than I do. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very great detail, vivid, vivid detail. Yes, and then the last thing that we did, um, many years ago, I had told Jared about this beautiful park in Gramercy, um, Gramercy Park. And it's a closed off garden that no one can get into unless you have a key. And the only people that have a key are the people that actually border the outside. Like if you have an apartment there, you have access to that garden. And as a kid growing up in Manhattan, I didn't have access to that mm. and I would press my my face up against every little like you know space bar between in the, in the gate and look and want and like wonder what was on in inside this beautiful garden so my boy over here made that happen and it was so special Jared I, I remember you holding out this key and I was like how did he get access to this beautiful garden and then we walked in the garden and then I thought, surely this has to be it because it was so magical. And I mean, think about it, springtime in New York, you have all this greenery and the sun was beaming down on me. And I'm like, this is so romantic. And as I'm like looking at him and I think we kissed, I was like, this is, this is, he's gonna propose to me. He whipped out something even better. He whipped out a toy Greyhound bus at that time. And honestly, I know this is gonna sound so stupid, that part, and I think about it and I get a little emotional. It was like an acknowledgement for everything that I had done. And it was so beautiful that you did that. And he gave me this stupid, cheap, plastic Greyhound bus because I had taken all these buses, bus trips to be with him during law school. And he gave that to me and I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And then I stopped and I was like, is the ring in here? Is there a ring in here? And there was no ring yet. So I was like, okay, thank you. This is beautiful. I'm gonna just relish this moment. I said, you know what? Why don't we just go to the to the rose bar? We'd never we'd never gone there yeah. before. Yeah. And and as we walked in, I see all of my family there. 
like when I say all of my family, my immediate family, my mom, my dad, Papa Joe, um, my sister was there, just like my best friends were all there. And I looked and I'm like, oh my God, hi guys. And everyone is taking pictures. And then I'm like looking for Jerd. And when I turn around, he's finally on his knees and he's saying in Spanish, will you marry me? And he had this whole <laughs> Spanish speech and it was so special because I'm looking at him knowing how important it was to have my papi there and mm -hmm. uh, my whole family there. And he said it in Spanish. And of course, I said yes. And it was really beautiful because it was a ring that I had drawn out many years ago. And everything was so thoughtful mm -hmm. that I, I, I look back at that time with so much gratitude. And um, yeah, thank you for making that so special and finding a way to, to incorporate the traditional in things that we were doing that were so untraditional. Thank you. A surprise within a surprise. Yep. So on that Tuesday is when everyone who was at the proposal found out you're getting married on Saturday, or they still think you're having an engagement party. Maybe. The people there were people that we planned on telling a little bit early, okay. right? Yeah, yeah. Earlier, her sister, her mom, because they had roles to play in the yeah. in the, the ceremony. And plus we wanted to give them at least some heads up before the actual day. Yeah. Like, so it was a surprise to them, but it was a surprise a week early in a sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yep, what he said. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. So, yeah. And everyone looked so beautiful. Yeah. And when they got there, oh my gosh, it was magical. People started to arrive to this event and everyone made it on time. And I think that it was on my mom's, mom, mom and papa's property. When people pulled up to the house, they saw these tents and it was like, this looks a little bit like, a little more special than an irregular engagement. So they're pulling up and my mom, I was inside getting ready and um, my mom came back and said, Claude, everyone is looking at each other, like smiling and cheesing and like going, what's going on? This is really beautiful for an engagement. And it was at that time that Papa Joe made an announcement um, and he said, what did he say, Jared? He said, my I, favorite part. Yeah, he said, I have, I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is there will be no engagement taking place today. And then he let that sit in and everyone was like, what is going on? And then he said, the good news is that Claude and Jared will be tying the knot. And if you will, please follow me. Yes, and it was so special. And everyone was like, oh my gosh. You know, Hispanic women were like, yeah. oh my gosh. I can't yeah. believe it. I'm so glad I, and then yeah. it, it, and then, all they, the, we, yeah. then he led them to yeah. oh, no, where so the nice. ceremony yeah. would be taking place. Yes. And it was behind a one very big tent. tent. So yeah. no one had seen the setup. And it was really, until then. yes. And it was really beautiful because it, we were just surrounded and you guys know, I'm not a flower person. I love trees. I love greenery. And we were smack in the middle of like this beautiful hill and just surrounded by trees and greenery. And I think we did have a tent because we were, yeah, we did. Um, because, you know, weather, inclement weather, we got married in May, but God gave us the most beautiful day that day. Mm -hmm. And um, it was really special. It was very, very special. And seeing everyone just take their seats and then I was able to come down and um, yeah, I think everyone's face just lit up and they were like, I can't, this is typical of you guys to do something so dramatic, you know? And yet it was all us. It was like everything yeah. that we did that day was 100% us, you know? It, a thousand percent. Yeah. It's really emblematic of how we live our lives. We didn't have a lot of money. We didn't want anything super fancy over the top because guys, we're just not fancy people and that's okay and we wanted things very simple. And we had cupcakes, like a cupcake tower with like ugly dolls on. Yeah, it was very non-traditional. <laughs> it was very non-traditional, exactly. Yeah. We didn't have a minister, we didn't have um, like my childhood pastor. Um, we had a family friend 
who is, I look up to, to this person, my uncle Richard. He's very much a spiritual mentor as well. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And he got a license for it. Yeah, um, ordained. Ordained, yes. For, for our specific, specific ceremony. Mm -hmm. And yes. we kept it very short. We just wanted to get to the celebration Get in, portion. get out. Yeah, so we told him, we were like, no more than 10 minutes, yeah. please. And then um, it just went off. Yeah, like, we, we, so we, wrote out, we wrote out our own vows. We did. We had Adrian read a selection from a beautiful uh, children's book called mm -hmm. I, like I Like You. I like you. I like you and I know why. I like you because you are a good person to like. I like you because when I tell you something special, you know it's special. Remember when you told me something special? And both of us remember. When I think something is important, you think it's important too. We have good ideas. When I say something funny, you laugh. I think I'm funny and you think I'm funny too. Huh? <laughs> you know how to be silly. That's why I like you. Boy, are you never silly. I never met anybody sillier than me till I met you. And which, which was really the, I think, the, the, the main theme, I think of our relationship in general, yeah. right? The, the idea that liking the person you're with is just as important, if not more important, than, than loving them yeah. in a sense, right? Because that's the person you're spending your life with. And, you know, it's one thing to feel like you can't live without somebody, um, you know, from the lens of the most negative thing that could happen but it's another thing entirely to look forward to spending your day with someone. And that's the standard that we wanted to hold ourselves to in our relationship. So we got actually in our wedding rings inscribed. Yeah, we also have a I like you. that says I like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so inside of our, of our wedding Adrian band, Adrian was says, a complete mess when she when she read the, the selection. Oh, yeah. I remember her like, yeah. I think she fumbled and it's so funny because Adrian does this for a living, but she was like so emotionally she was emotional. like, yeah, she's super emotional and she was like trembling. You send me a postcard. You don't just say, we'll see you around sometime, bye. I like you a lot because of that. If I go away, I send you a postcard too. And I like you because if we go away together and if I get lost, then you are the one that is yelling for me. I like you because I don't know why, but everything that happens is nicer with you. I can't remember when I didn't like it. It must have been lonesome then. I like you because, because, because. I forget why I like you, but I do. So many reasons. On the 4th of July, I like you because it's the 4th of July. On the 5th of July, I like you too. If you and I had some drums and some horns and some horses, we could be a holiday. We could be a celebration. We could be a whole parade. See what I mean? Even if it was the 99th of July, even if it was August, even if it was way down at the bottom of November, even if it was no place particular in January, I would go on choosing you. And you would go on choosing me over and over again. That's how it would happen every time. I don't know why. I guess I don't know why I really like you. I guess I just like you because I like you. We had collected um, so many different objects um, during that time that meant certain things to us. Um, I love antique shopping, so I had like a collection of handkerchiefs that were placed on each of the tables. Um, I wore a beautiful um, rosary on my hand that it, it, it was when we went to Spain. Mm -hmm. And I remember we were talking about getting married and I wore that rosary. And it was like all these little touches that meant something to me. Um, and I loved it because even if it was not like perfect and everything matched everything, everything that, that was there meant something to me. Yeah. And um, I think, again, it just reflected our relationship and how we do things. In the Hispanic culture, we give these things, and I forgot the word, but they're like these little tchotchkes that you kind of like don't know what to do with them when they get home. I didn't want that. I wanted people, the, the guests, to go home with something that they'd use and that 
um, they would enjoy. So his mom made hot sauce as one of the favorites and we had labels put on them and his mother makes an amazing Trinidadian hot sauce from her garden. So again, another special um, token, another special like just element element of, of our wedding. Um, my mom made black and white cookies because that's one of my favorite things. As a New Yorker, I'd get these black and white cookies. So my mom made that for us as well. And um, yeah, so an odd pairing hot sauce and cookies but again that's that's us my yeah. spicy to 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 sweet so. me <laughs> one of the things that i think is so important is making things comfortable for you in the sense that if th this day is about you this day is not about anyone else but you and the person that you are saying i do to and i think that we had such wonderful loving uh, family members that um, allowed us to do that and yet we kept saying even if we didn't it was okay because sometimes I think that you have to be okay to do the things that you you really want to do that mean something to you and do it the way you want to do it I don't know where I'm leading with this but yeah I, I think I, I think I, I, I can you can you say that in a, in a more yeah why yeah, do you I can mean, I ask you sure. okay why do you think, why do you think that we did this? Like, wh what was your I, I take think, on this? I, I, I think we did this because we understood the importance of setting boundaries that would lead to a healthy life, okay? From our relationship to individual boundaries, I think our relationship to us is very sacred. We know each other we know what we want mm -hmm. and honestly you have a little bit more uh, trouble setting boundaries she's an empath we know I this do. about her yeah. I have less trouble mm -hmm. and in, in a lot of ways it's my role to protect your heart and and protect you in that way Thank you. and so I think a lot of a I knew that if we mm -hmm. went through this wedding planning process you would be too you know, considerate of other points of view. Yeah. Um, and, and again, it's not about anyone else but the couple. Right. Yeah. And I can't stress that enough. It's so important. And it's not an indictment on anyone else. It really is just a matter of how do you want to do things? There's no single right way to do anything, mm -hmm. right? It's about what works for you. And I think what works for us and has, has always worked for us is embracing doing things differently. Yeah. And in order to be able to do things differently and be free doing that, you need to have boundaries so that you can allow yourself to think, you can allow yourself to express yourself in the most free free way you can. Mm -hmm. And you know, the wedding was a very again, it was symbolic of how we do that in our lives, how we express ourselves freely in our lives. Yeah. You know, homeschooling you know, we, we, we reduce the noise. We're always receptive to input. I love that. Reduce the noise. Sorry. Yeah. That just hit right. me right there. That was, yeah. yeah, that's, and that's exactly, I love that, Jared. We reduced the noise to like zero. We really did. Yeah. That was. And, and the beautiful yeah. thing about it is you also teach people how to treat you in a sense and teach them how to celebrate you and how to be happy for you. Right, because you're not asking for permission. You're saying, this is what makes me happy, so this is what I'm gonna do, and I do it, and if you love me, you're you just gonna be happy, be happy for, for me. me. Yes. And the beautiful thing about every single member of our family, that's exactly how it turned out. Everyone was like, this was beautiful, I'm so happy for you guys, yeah. I love the fact that you did it this way, and yeah. we couldn't be more grateful. You know, we couldn't be, no, be more grateful. Yep. Thank you to our family and friends for supporting us that way. Yeah. Super blessed. But that was one for the books, Jared. And everyone had an awesome time and we had an awesome time. And guess what, guys? The way we ended the night is in another way that was so different. We had got this beautiful <laughs> hotel room. Yeah. We had the wedding suite. Guys, we didn't even make it to the wedding suite. We literally fell asleep on the floor in my wedding dress with our friends sleeping on the floor. 
on, on couches, couches sprawled all over. That is how hard we party. It and was then, the and then, thing. and then the you know the night after we had our time, but <laughs> but in true Claudette and Jared fashion. Yeah. That is how we ended the night. Yeah. In, in the non-traditional way. Yeah, and then our honeymoon was even further non-traditional because we brought we brought your best friend, my, Veda, and my and, sister went. Yeah, yeah, we had a lot of What do you of mean you went to your honeymoon with, with your, your friends and family? Yeah. So Yeah. Where did you guys go? We went to Oh, okay. So I thought it was so important to have incorporate something from my Ecuadorian side. So I took him home to my dad's home. And um, I took him to Ecuador to meet the family, my other side of the family that throughout all these years he had yet to meet. Yeah. So um, the twist of, of that was Ecuador has these beautiful islands called the Galapagos Islands. And they are literally, it's one of the most beautiful places on earth. Um, and we went there for our honeymoon. The first leg of the trip was at the Galapagos Islands. Then and we went then to mainland, uh, mainland. Ecuador. Yeah. And then we drove up and it was, we drove, it was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, we drove to the coast. It was really beautiful. And then we were celebrated there with my family. And this is the trip you took Adrian. And this is where I took my whole crew. Papi Lindo Papi came. Lindo came. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah. To my honeymoon. Yep. Mm -hmm. So everything about our wedding was super non-traditional and yeah. we would not have it any <laughs> other way. Right? Yeah. yeah, it was good. Thank you guys so much for watching our surprise wedding story and our surprise engagement story. Yes. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button and what else am I missing? And follow us on Instagram. Thank you guys. Bye.